Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Valheim. So guys, if you're new to the channel at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I'll leave a link in the card above to the full Valheim uh, Let's Play series that I'm doing, the survival series that I'm doing. Because at the minute, there is just survival. But uh, <laughs> I don't know if there'll ever be like a creative mode. I think it's going to be like Ark, where the, there just isn't. Um, so anyway, this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working more on my keep. So uh, the main building in my kind of like castle area that I've kind of flattened out. I still need to like cut into this. I'm going to have the forge on the side. Uh, but we need to finish up the keep. So what I've got or what I've done. I've not done loads since the last episode, by the way, guys. I've moved some more materials in. So I've got even more stone. I've got uh, like my wolf pelts and things. Uh, I put down a single deer rug. Yeah, I know. Mad. Absolutely mad. Turns out that the stone shelters you. So uh, I actually get comfort 9 here, which is mad. Um, obviously, we had that throne thing, so I need to build that at some point in time. I've moved the portal from the uh, little barn thing that I've got over here. What I'm going to end up doing is dismantling that um, at some point uh, and just bringing, bringing all the resources up here. Pretty much all of the resources are up here anyway because I've needed them over, over, t you know, over the time. Um, what I've also done is gone and grabbed some wood. Quite a lot of wood, actually. Um, I say quite a lot. I mean, it's not loads of wood. It's just, it's enough to get us going, uh, at least for the start bit of it. I know that I'm going to have to do go off camera and pretty much chop down this entire forest uh, that's next to me. I've been trying to decide about this, and I think I might, <laughs> I might be really bad to the Grey Dwarves and actually take my cart probably to the water's edge over there, or I might build a bridge and just basically collect up wood around here. I don't know yet. Um, the other thing is, actually, when we got iron nails, one of the things I didn't notice uh, that we can now do is we can build a long ship, and this thing is huge. Look at that. <laughs> so the carve is that big. I, that's mad. So I don't know if we, like, use... Oh, it's ten lots of iron. I don't know if I, like, use my... Because I've got eleven iron in total, so that means it leaves me with one iron. I don't know if I build that... Um, and plonk that in the water down down below because as you guys might have seen I can't, I can't really zoom in right there I've started to cut out a nice little area so I'm gonna have an area where let's cut into here where we can actually get to the ships so um, I say ships now because I've actually got my carve and I've got uh, and I will have this long ship so I don't know if that's a good idea or not I don't know I'll, I'll see but if we had that obviously the long ship we could just plonk in there gather a load of wood whack it on it get it over here Obviously, still got to lug it out of the hill, but that's, it's not too bad. Once we've once we've got it from a central location, I can just ferry it back and forth. Um, it would be good if they had like horses or something in the game. I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, that would definitely be good. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go wood for the next part of it, going up. Um, the only thing I haven't decided is if this wool is going to be wood or not. That's the only thing I haven't decided. I'm also going to knock down this, so I have to collect up the... It's going to be really difficult to get the stone, isn't it? just realised. It's going to be a real nightmare. Can I actually grab it from here? If I sneak. Sneaking does nothing. Okay, well that's fine. Um, I, I'm going to have to scoop it up. What I'll do is I'll end up building some stupid structure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have it uh, where this is going out. I know you, you might be thinking, like, what am I doing with this roof? But bear with, because what I'm thinking... Uh, that'll be on this block, definitely. It's across the sides here. We'll use this bit. Uh, I think I need to actually move over. Can I stand on this? Yeah, I'm going to fall though. Yeah, that's going to be quite bad. Um, right, okay, so if I do that instead. Okay, can I... Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. Proper dodge. Right, okay. If we do this. Yeah, so what I'm thinking, I'll do a little bit of it and then I'll show you on the outside. I don't know why I've decided on this side, by the way, guys. I have absolutely no idea. What I'm thinking is doing something like this. And then we have boards out here. Can I get another bike? Could I? Okay, well, that's fine. I'll... I had to make more food um, in general. So I have something like this, right? And then the corner block. Is that the one I want? Yeah, going out. So I have to think about the roof like backwards because I'm trying to use the, the outside part of the roof. Missing requirement, workbench. Oh, okay. That's really close, isn't it? Okay. Mind to build another workbench up here. I've got enough stuff, so let's just yeah solves that problem. I think I'm going to end up with like workbenches mostly around the base in general. There we go. So if we do something like that, then the corner will look pretty good, right? So yeah, using using the the inside part of uh, 
the outside part. No, the inside. Yeah, the inside part of the roof. I get so confused, aren't I? Madman. To build stuff. There we go. Right. Okay. So we'll then have. Yeah. At some point, it's gonna have to switch. I think we'll go boards going that way. And then we'll have probably the corners will be full. Uh, we could end up with like, a couple of these. I'll just do the little little example of what I'm thinking. Maybe something like that. I don't know. But we have, have little windows, and then above it also have uh, things going over like this, right? Uh, yes, yeah, put down a half on there, and then when we can have the roof on top. And I was thinking doing. For the lower part, the bit that's sticking out, I'll do 26 degrees, and then I'll do uh, 45 after that. Uh, I don't know what that'll look like at all, but uh, we'll try it. So, not that one. That one, right. So, if we get a tiny bit of it, I'll do this across the whole build. It's all holding up, which... Um, I'm quite surprised about. The only thing I haven't really decided is if we've, whether I have stone on the inside, because all of this is quite red. Um, really quite red in terms of its structuralness. Um, see, look, the pillars are fine. So there's definitely the pillars seem to be really strong. So I don't know if we, you know, have that going around. I like the look of it already, though. Um, whether we can even put stone on top. Uh, we didn't pick up any stone, did we? Did we? Yeah, we did a bit. So let's tell you what, let's try it. So we could have stone, that would be good. But if we can't, we can't. Okay, we can maybe have stone. So maybe we have stone. Or maybe we have wood. I don't know. I can't decide that bit. I don't know at the minute. I really don't. Right, so let's have a look at this outside. From the outside, even. Okay, so... Mm. <laughs> it's what it looks like. I think we need to go up another layer. I, need, I think we need another level. I've got to be careful not to fall off of stuff here. Um... Yeah, I think we might need to... Oh, stone. Um, I think we might need to fall off, uh, do it up another layer, because I think when it's cutting into the window part especially, I don't think it's going to look right. Apart from that, it's okay. Uh, I don't think it looks terrible. Um, it's really difficult to tell. Uh, but yeah, okay, so what I'll do, guys, I'll put in another layer of stone. It means that the next layer after that, we would definitely not have any stone at all. Um, and then we'll use that as our kind of base going around. Does one and a half do it? Mm, I think I might need to go with too high for the wood because of the size of the building. So I think we'll go rather than one and a half with this, we'll go two. I know that it doesn't that doesn't make any sense because you know technically if this is a one, then it's actually at four. But you know since you're going to do a one wall, I can't count this as a well, it's a half wall. So yeah, we'll have two of those high going up. I'll move this up. Um, it might be it only needs to go up by a half actually. Yeah, because if it goes up by a half to like that level, that'll look good. Right, I'm going to give this a go anyway, guys. Uh, and I'll show you once I've got it, uh, one, once I'm happy, and I've gone around the first bit, um, and I've got that first layer of the roof going around. All right, guys, so this is what I've got done. Um, I've gone for, yeah, like the ledges on the windows, um, and also putting beams in the middle. Though I didn't really need to, actually. It's pretty um, pretty secure, which I'm quite surprised about, because the this is red, so the stone parts of it are red. But this is green, and this is green. All of it's green. So I don't know if that just means that, um, like the wood, it, uh, the, the stone, it helps it quite a lot. I don't know. Um, I've done some cool stuff with the chimney. I will show you that in a second. I really like it. Um, I did find, however, that there's random blocks that I cannot place any stone in. So I've just put in little wooden walls on either side. Not that it really matters at all. Uh, these now look like toilets, but uh, <laughs> you know that works. And this is as high as I can go with the stone. So I've, I've pretty much hit the limit. I can't do any more pillars. I can't do any more going off of here. Obviously, this is where we've got the smoke where I can obviously die. Um, so I'll show you what I've got going with. Um, oh yeah, actually the views are pretty awesome. Should have said that really. Um, I mean, just like there's really nice. This is really really nice. I love this one uh, out over the bay. Uh, even though it's got a bit of swamp in there, it's still really cool. So, if I head on down, so I've um, done the banister going all the way across. Um, these really annoy me. The the logs are sticking out of the floor. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, I've taken down the walls in this on this area. I'm 
I've decided that, you know, depending on where what we do with the, you know, doors going into the other places, um, like build adjacent buildings, things like that, we'll then figure out what's going on. Um, as you can see, I have uh, made a nice central fireplace. So what I ended up doing is, although we had already pushed in by one more block where we've got that, those beams going across, I've now put stones on top of that, which means I can put fires on top of it. Um, so I don't know if I can get into this. I don't think I can. No, there's, I don't think there's any way for me to... No. Um, so anyway, yeah, so that's that's kind of like going around there, which means I've got, yeah, fire on either side. Um, because what I was finding is, you know, just in the corners, I couldn't... Well, I still don't feel any heat from it at all. Um, and upstairs, I couldn't feel any heat, so I was like, ah, okay, maybe I should... Maybe I'll see what I can do. Though I can't do it above, so because of the stone going on. I also couldn't do the... Um, arches going to the sides either. Um, some of them would ping off. These ones were fine. Go in here. Uh, it was the longer pieces in the middle. So there must be something with the structural integrity to be with you know, like supporting walls if you've got a corner that would work. So if we had like a you know, a central central piece going in the middle or something I think it would probably end up working. But I really like this. I really like this design. I think it looks um, looks really good. So anyway. Um... Oh yeah. Let's show it, show it to you guys. I know the night is turning into night already. Which is typical. Um, from the outside, so I keep on trying to eat. I need to switch those to like hotkeys, I think. So I don't need a lot of these tools that I've got. Um, Grey dwarfs and stuff keep on trying to attack my stuff, which is really annoying. This is what it looks like from the outside. So it's not amazing. Um, it's kind of a big wind blob, but the actual style of using that, the roofs looks really good. I think. I think that works perfectly. You can you can like hardly tell. I know there's like bits of the thatch coming through but that works the um, pillars as well they actually clip into the top of it which which works so that's probably why it's so stable um, but I think it looks overall is pretty cool so as well as the wooden trim so I might do more wooden trim around it um, at some point I, I'm not totally sure uh, but so far I'm really happy with it uh, how it's turned out so we're gonna do the next bit of the roof um, it might be might be have to <laughs> Go back to my house because I haven't got a bed in here. I um, wonder if that's enough. That's enough to be sheltered. Give me a sec. Have I got misc furniture. Yeah, I wonder if I could do it there. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? There we go. Have some wood. Right. So the answer is yes. I can sleep here, which is kind of good. I just had to set up a fire. That was the only thing. Day 114. Wow. <laughs> Mad. Right. So. What we need to do is we need to build a little bit of an area going up uh, to complete this roof. Basically, that's the that's the plan. Is to this episode we'll have the whole entire roof done. That's that's absolutely key. So, where's my wood? Why haven't I got my wood? I just put it all away or something. Probably. Um, so we need to make our way up into it. Um, what I need to figure out is whether I'm going to. I'm tempted to, you know, rather than having it go all the way around, actually having like a big opening, because then we can have like a loft area where we can just put the useless stuff that we'll never use. Um, I say the useless stuff that we'll never use. Um, you know, there isn't really much useless stuff, but maybe that's a good idea. Possibly. So we end up having, you know, uh, from this side we'd have, uh, where is it, the 45. I don't know how much we're going to go on to go up here. So maybe we have the 45 here. Up. That's where I need to have already some stairs, which is absolutely fine. So what I end up doing is if I put a block in there, get these the right the way round. Hoping this will work. Ah, that's fine. That'll that should link together. Apparently, yep, that's fine. Right, so I'll head up here. So what I end up doing is on this side here, do something like this. Is that flat? Yeah. I'm getting blinded, completely blinded by everything going on here. So we'll do something like this going up. That's really red now. Okay, well that's fine. So we could probably do this going across here. We do need to support it in a bit uh, and then go for this. Here. That makes that green then. Okay, so this is quite quite well supported then. Because I was thinking, do I need to actually put in some beams? Uh, it's probably a good 
idea to do that anyway. I've got some core wood. Uh, I have been slowly chopping down <laughs> the black forest. <laughs> I say slowly. I mean, it's not going that slow. Ah, right, okay. So that will lead to there. It's the only problem I'm having with it. All right, so I'll put, put that in there. I really don't like it. I I don't mind the normal wood. The more, normal wood looks really good when you... um. When you do this. Oh, that's really weird because, of course, it's on the blocks, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um. So, yeah, with the, the normal wood, I don't mind it. The texture kind of works really well. Uh, I'm just not as keen with this one. All right, so can we get that? I can't really see anything. That sun is so bright. So maybe we'll do... Ah, uh, that looks terrible. Okay. Just, I know that core wood is a lot more... A lot stronger. That's... All right, let's do it that way around then. Oh, it's just... It's going to annoy me a little bit. <laughs> is that still sticking out? No, so that's not sticking out. Okay, so maybe we just have to do it that way. But yeah, as long as we can get some support. See, that's yellow. That's not... It's like it's not even supported well at all. Oh, well, right. Okay, so if we do one here as well... You'd hope that that then gets supported off the wood, but uh, off the stone even. Yeah, so that'll do. Right, okay. So what we can start doing as well, uh, which direction again? That way, okay. Is start putting in a floor because if I can start putting in a floor, we'll have some way to get up into this lost space. I know that where I've put the ladder now is is probably the dumbest dumbest space, but uh, right, let's move this. Right here we go. Now it's starting to look a lot better. So I'll just put in a load of floors going across there. Move this. Put in more of the poles. So we've actually got like full support basically on this part of it, uh, which is fantastic. So, right, roof-wise, I don't even know if this is going to be an even or an odd. <laughs> and that's bad, but I, I really should know, but I have no idea. Uh, I'm obviously at some point going to have to potentially move my side on the Why is that not wanting to click? There we go. That's good. Now we'll go for full one here. Probably want a window of some kind, so do I want just two singular windows on the sides? Yeah, I think so. So I don't want to have too much going on with this. So if we do something like this, and then put a nice beam ledge on top. Probably just put that on the outside. Oh, there we go. Glad that I did that as a small up thing. Oh, I can't. I... Okay, can't can't jump over it apparently. I wonder if that's just because I'm on the on the ledge there, but right, cool. So this here, let's get this up. Look at that. So it's going to be on the even, but that's fine. It's not too bad. Uh, we... No, we don't want that. Right, so we're near the top of this now. <laughs> Always difficult when you get to the top. Uh, I think actually even works its way out kind of quite nicely because of these pieces. I'd never even thought about that before because I've not really done. I don't think I've done any even even builds. What I mean by that is there isn't like a single one of these uh, walls in the middle. Right? Can we get one of these X's on there? Because that'd be so cool. Yes, we can. Oh, that looks so good. Right, guys. So, you can see I'm on my tiny little ladder that's just floating up. What I'll do is, uh, we need to think about the chimney. So, I'll, I'll get myself across on either of these sides. I'm also nearly out of wood again, um, which I'm, I'm not really that surprised about. I didn't get loads. Um, you probably notice that the, <laughs> the forest is starting to get completely annihilated now. Um, but I think that looks pretty good so far already. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll extend it over. We'll see where it gets to with this uh, roof. Uh, to the chimney piece and then we'll kind of go from there but so far it's pretty pretty promising uh, I could just do have a couple so ledge pieces and stuff but I'll keep on building guys and I'll give you a shout when I'm done all right then guys so I I've had to put in quite a lot of these beams actually actually I've had to do quite a lot structurally <laughs> come to think of it so I've got beams going all the way around the entirety of the building I've even got beams in the middle um, I don't know if they're actually doing that much um, I've put in beams going across from here to there. I've put beams going down the sides um, as well. So, so like the windows, I've actually got. It actually makes the windows look way better. So, uh, cool. It looks like a 
beautiful day today. So it's been raining like a lot constantly. That's why my character's all like wet and stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm gonna need some of this as well. Sorry, I just realised I've like got only a little bit of what I need. Um, I've done a lot of chopping down of uh, the Black Forest. I've been really harsh. Um, so over there is a Black Forest. I can hardly see it. Um, and I've been chopping it down quite quite a lot. So all the pine trees, that's the last one. There's no more. There's literally no more on this island. I can't see any more on this island anyway. Uh, and I've been cutting down the wood from that thing. Uh, just to spite the Grey Dwarf. So yeah, because I know they're going to attack at some point. So why not? Um, so up here, what I've had to do. Build lots of beams. Um, so every two I've put in a beam. These beams here seem to actually work quite well. The the cross ones for um, for for core wood. Um, without that, I couldn't have built this roof because this is all right at the point of of stress. Uh, so I've got them going across there. I've also got smaller beams here, which which helped a little bit on onto this one. Um, so I think it's a combination of everything. And then from here, I've got that going up. Even these little ones here, these help these side bits um, quite a bit as well. Um, I built the chimney. Uh, I've had to put a uh, workbench up here as well because it turns out that the um, uh, it's more of like a, a sphere rather than just a circle around the workbench. It's a sphere. Um, and the other thing is that I think it's really cool actually. I didn't notice this um, because we're up so high. It's all frosty. So like like this has all got the frost on it. So I'm guessing this is what like cabins look like in the woods and uh, in in the mountain biomes, which is really cool. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, this is the kind of problem I've got. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to be doing is capping this off now. Also, this central pillar um, has really helped quite a lot. Oh no. <laughs> I do not want to get smoke damage while I'm up here. That's not going to be good at all. Let's see if we can just... Um... Oh, I, Yeah, let's see if I can cap this off quickly. Right, that'll do for now. Um, so yeah, what I'm thinking of doing up here is yeah, raising it up a bit. Oh, it's so difficult. Problem is, as soon as I get down to there, I slide down to it because I've done it a couple times now. I then kind of get a bit stuck. So I don't think we'll just do a little one. I think we'll do a bigger one. It's either that or... Yeah, I... Th <laughs> is it going to be able to hold this? That's the question. There's quite a lot of pressure on it, isn't there? Right. My plan will be to do it on one side. There we go. So um, yeah, I'll do it on one side, and then from there we will. I'll build it on the other side. Right. So if I join these across here, how's that looking? That's green, apparently. Well, that's that's good. That's yellow. That's kind of reddish. Okay. Oh, no, that's red. That's really red. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, because I'm going to be building up, obviously, quite a bit on the sides here as well. Unless I want to do, like, windows. I know this is the, where I'm having the smoke coming out of, but... I don't know. I quite like it. If, you, if you're able to, like, you know, make a feature out of something, why not? So maybe we do edges. I'm going to go with um, solid frames. Cool, and then we'll go above here as well. There we go, and then if we beam across this, I'm going to have to get onto the outside of the building, uh, of the um, thing at some point, or am I? Am I actually going to be okay? <laughs> I might be okay, I might be able to do this, there we go. Yeah, let's go for that there, all the way down. So this is all I did with the windows as well. There we go. Okay. Right. There and... Ah, wood. Right. Get more wood out of my chest. Right. So, we'll also close up. We'll start actually building across here. I think we're going to go 45 again. So, we'll see how this... How this does it. I'm going to have to... <laughs> I have to build that into there, I think. Uh, see if that or I do that now. I'll do it. If I do it against the main frame, at least I'm gonna uh, the main kind of chimney. I'll be all right. 
terms of falling down. Okay, there we go. So that's not going to do. So I'm going to have to somehow make this a lot better. I'm going to get loads of smoke damage again. Alright, so we're going to have to build a beam across, which is which is absolutely fine. Don't know if it's going to be enough. Because that one's, that one's green. That one's now green. Okay, so now we might be able to do it. That one's still red, but... Open between the two of them. Gonna get myself into smoke damage again. That's not what I'm trying not to do. Right, tell you what. I can usually get these ones to go and then we'll do it from that. Because actually I would have wanted these anyway, so. Right, so that's that's worked for the time being. Gosh. Okay. Get around to the other side. I think I'm gonna have to build like a basically a load of ladder networks. I think I might build, delete it, build, delete it. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Um, either that or can I build a nice little? Well, that didn't sound good. Okay, that's fine. And I'm now getting damaged. Damn it! Ah, need to eat a load of stuff. Right. Okay. So we need to get a bit more of a frame. So that one, that one pinged off. Okay. Okay, so I need to reinforce this whole thing a lot. <laughs> it might be I have to do a beam. Tell you what, do beam from there, there, and there, because it's not really going to matter that much. That should reinforce it enough, I would expect. So that's now orange. Um, we now go up to there. Can we get there? No, right. We got any that's dropped down? Nope, no wood that's dropped down. Wonder because I'm gonna run out of um, core wood in a sec. Right. So is this gonna be enough now? Fingers crossed. Because if this can then hold it, it should then be okay. Of course, I'm getting smoke damage. <laughs> oh. Right. Because that's all looking green now, which is great. Right. So from there, what we'll do is we'll have, uh, have that bit there, I guess. And then go up from this point. I'm going to have to reinforce all of this again. Cross beams and have everything. I mean, the good thing is, for the middle part, I just can cross beam into this. Um, that's not going to be a problem. Of course, I'm getting damage. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Do we think? So if that's there, do we just go with? And uh, what's going to happen if the smoke just fills up here? Is it just going to go nowhere? Um, is that what happens? Oh, I haven't destroyed the cross beam. Actually, to be fair, the cross one. I don't think I want it there anyway. So if that's there, can we now put this on top? I don't know if we can quickly get in with that. Is that now working? I think it's got to like, take ages to calculate um, the stress points now. I think that's part of the problem. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm going to mess around with this guys. Uh, I'll tell you what works in the end because I do think it's going to take me quite a while to get this working. It might be that I can't go up this high as I'm wanting to. Um, oh, someone else just fell as well. But you never know. I mean, I haven't got currently you know, these ones, although they're there, they haven't got any support underneath so it could be that I just have to you know, follow through a lot of that support uh, lower down. See, I haven't blocked up any of those those pieces either. Um, or even there. So, you know, there's a lot that's, that's on there. But, oh, maybe that's done it. Maybe it's as simple as that. Right. <laughs> this seems... It seems the higher you go, the worse it gets. Like, all of this kind of stuff. It just gets really bad. 
um, to try and figure it all out. But that is so stressed. Uh, right, okay, so let's cross beam this then. From there to there. That might then give it enough support. Definitely hoping that they will. And that's showing as green for now, but I, I don't believe it. Right, still green. And then red. Alright, guys. Yep, I'll go and. I'm going to play around with this for quite a bit. Oh, without trying to kill myself. I'll play around with this for quite a bit. Oh, there's roof on that as well. But yeah, I'll play around with it. And I'll let you guys know what I've had to come up with. <laughs> it's all falling apart. Alright guys, so here it is for the reveal. There we go. So I finally got it to work. Um, real pain. I'll show you how I kind of got it to work, I think. Um, I'm not totally sure what part of what I did ended up working. But I'm really happy with it, so there we go, the keep is now done at least. Um, totally different than what I had in mind, but uh, that is how it is. <laughs> it's the thing is, I, I knew that I wanted to do a stone structure, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to haul. So I mean, it's kind of just grown, it's quite difficult to plan with this game. Um, at least if you don't know what, what's available and what works, so you know, it's been a good learning experience for me. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it looks, I think it looks pretty awesome. Um, it looks like the fog's rolling in, so I've got a lot of more wood. I've decimated the black forest over there. So on the map there's a little bit of black forest here, like tiny bit and over here, this bit here, pretty much all there is black forest going up to the swamp. Um, so I've decimated it. Um, I, I didn't want to cut too much into the forest that's around me, so I, ha I have done. I've still cut a big area, but I've tried to not to destroy the forest around me. Instead, I'm like, oh, this island here is a bit separate, so we'll go with that. I don't know. I was thinking, do we actually do like a canal going through? Because I've seen people do that, but then there's no real point because this this one's, you know, it just kind of is there anyway, so you know, don't really benefit of anything. And there's not really anywhere else I want to do canals, but you know, it's an interesting idea. Um, so yeah, the other thing I did is I've put on the dragon heads onto these bits. I tried, I really did try to get it onto the top of this one. So I tried to get dragon head right there. Couldn't do it could not do it it would just keep breaking off so it was one it was a pain to get up there so I ended up building well just a massive scaffold um, I'll show you what I did with the wood with that because <laughs> after, I, after I deconstructed it bit by bit I got quite a lot of wood but I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out so down here no changes at all oh actually no there is yes there is a change there is a change indeed I built a frame I was like you know what I've got to do it so I ended up building a nice frame Spent my spent one eye on it. I, th I think it was something like that. I can't remember now. God. Yeah, one lot of my iron nails. So that's gone. So my iron nails are gone, but that's fine. Um, so spent that. Nothing has changed up here at all. Um, I do like the open fire place though. That I really like, and that works really well. Um, up here, I've not even filled in the holes uh, at all. So I've got my bed there. This luckily. Oh, it doesn't anymore. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have high heat. No, it doesn't have heat at all. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, so up here, what I ended up doing is um, we had a lot of these pillars anyway. We had these little bits, I think, anyway, which I showed you guys. So these I built all the way going across with the core wood because it's stronger than the normal wood. Um, so that's the main reason. Then I went up and I also went out with all of these. Uh, to the centerpiece, I reinforced it. So that's all got core wood on it, including down here as well and you can even see a bit sticking out. I need to fix that at some point. Um, I'm thinking of just doing this core wood because I do not want to remove it now that it's it's working because I, I do not want to go through it again. The amount of times stuff pinged off was painful. Um, so that goes all the way up there. Yeah, that's all crisscrossed. Um, we've got obviously three bits going across here. Um, across the sides, this also goes all the way across. Same on the other side. I'll show you what's inside these little rooms here because I've actually made some rooms. And that goes across. And on the sides, look, I went crazy because it, it was just driving me nuts. And I was just like, right, I'm just going to do it everywhere. Um, in fact, you can see the beam going across there and then another beam going across there. So that's all going on. This is all joined up at the top. I can't show you anymore because um, I can't get there. So I was able to get there for a little bit. I cut through the doors because I was getting to it from the outside in the end because I want to put this in place. Couldn't do anything else. So, yeah. Um, but at the top, there's, as you can see, loads of beams going across on the sides. <laughs> and at the, in the middle, there's also like a cross shape. Um, the smoke seems to just stay around up here. Um, it doesn't seem to go to go out 
of anything, but that's fine. I think it's oh, it's currently going out of those two windows. So I don't know if we close up these ones. Uh, I kind of like them for letting in natural light, so I might keep them. Um, the only change is that uh, so the extra wood when I dismantled everything, I was like, actually, this this kind of should be pretty good. I've made like a little storage rooms. So oh, God, save really lags my game out. Um, so what I've got is loads of yeah chests currently empty on here. I've got them on little shelves here using the the single single piece. Uh, obviously we've got the nice window. You can see the decimated forest there. <laughs> um, small upside, up, upstairs area. There's actually an upstairs area on each of them. Again, the, all these beams here was me trying to make it work for the other bit and I'm not taking anything down. Even though I'm pretty sure I don't need this cross beam, I'm keeping it and I'm never removing it. So yeah, lots more chests up here. So we can put like all of our random stuff in, in these bits. Um, this is part of the other reason why the forest has been cut down. Because these are actually pretty expensive. And then over on this side, what I've decided to do with um, some of the more common objects especially, is we will just end up having four to eight chests of each. So resin has already, I don't know if you've even got some on me, has already um, started filling up. I do like the view though, look at that. It's a beautiful view for a little storage room, isn't it? Like in the high castle keep, can I get? Oh, I can, wow. I wasn't expecting that, but there we go, look, you can see the dragon heads now, so there's three of them on it. But yeah, real shame I couldn't do it on the top. Also, you can see the trim now on the on the middle piece. Um, I decided to put two, two sticking outy bits, so apparently it was strong enough for those. Uh, it just looked a little bit flat otherwise, so I decided to go for that. But yeah, resin and grey dwarf eyes, um, these are just ones I've got from this little island. I've not varied anything across. I need to get some lighting up here and everywhere. Um, but what I was thinking for that is using the these ones, the sconces. I'd really like to have these, you know, just like around or whatever. Um, it's just that I need copper and there isn't any copper on the island. I've looked, I've tried, I have not been able to do it. So yeah, that kind of sucks a bit, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, I can't trick it, I cannot trick it at all, can I? That's a shame. I haven't got anything to make a fire, that's fine. Right, so... Have we got any wood? No. I don't know. To be fair, I've just been building through the night, so... <laughs> Lately. All I was going to say, guys, is... Um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. We've obviously got a lot more to do uh, and expand into. Next episode, I'm planning on doing the forge. I'm going to get a good start on the forge. Um, Alright, tell you what, guys. I'm going to switch until it's... I don't know. No, it's actually light enough for me to be able to explain my plans. I think. No, it's not. Right. I'm going to go, uh, I'll make a bed very, very quickly because I have got some wood for my next building project. So I'm going to whack that next to it and I'll show you guys. All right, guys. So now it's daytime. Um, so I've set myself up with a nice little bed around. Um, so my plan is, I know I was going to have this ramp uh, before going up to it. I'm going to scrap this. I'm going to actually cut this right back. Uh, the reason being so that I can actually put a tower basically here. So this is where we'll have a tower on the edge of this place and we'll have just a little wall go into a tower on this bit. Um, then what I'll do is this right here, this is going to be our ramp. So what we'll do is we'll have from this side where we're going to have some probably little houses or storage or oh, I don't know something, um, we'll have a look at it later on. Um, this I'll then start to angle up so we'll actually have this wraps around to like a, a guardhouse type thing here. Or, or elsewhere, I might push this out a bit, I'm not totally sure yet. But this is where I'll be, and then I'll be cutting a big moat around it. So this whole bit here, I'll be really cutting into the ground quite a lot. Um, so if we do any get, get any trolls attacks or anything like that, they can't actually attack the keep. There'll be just a big wall, basically a big cliff going around the whole thing. And then we'll have, um, yeah, that gatehouse for the keep there. It does make it a long journey to get in there from the the bailey effectively uh, but in the bailey we'll have some houses and then we'll have some sort of main gate probably on this side or something like that um i like how it just punched to show you guys where i'm going so that's going to be my plan for the time being but the next episode yeah we'll be building across this side here i've just been um well, i've been waiting for it to be day cutting back the hill a little bit more um and i'm probably going to need even more stone i have um pretty much used up like all the, all the stones that were around here uh are, go are gone really um there's some in the forest still so there's that, and there's the ones on the hill, but I really cannot stand getting these ones. So even though they seem to be like the closest, all of these ones, um, getting the cart down there is really difficult, so I basically have to just run and sprint and stuff, and it's driving me nuts. But anyway, guys, that will be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of uh, Let's Play Valheim. 
if you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And, whoa, that was a big jump. As always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.